Hi everyone, I'm Nina and these are my new series of tutorials on how to draw a realistic male face. So in this series you will learn how to sketch a head and how to shade different facial parts including skin, hair and even beard. Of course we will also talk about what makes it look male instead of female and in this episode we'll start from sketching a head. So remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to learn how to uh, draw a realistic male head and let's start the tutorial. In this video you will need a pencil and an eraser. As you see, I'm using an HB pencil and a kneadable eraser. I love using kneadable erasers because they are dust-free and you can shape them the way you want. That's kinda it, so let's start sketching now. When drawing the different facial parts, you need to start by sketching them. For that, you use a relatively hard pencil and don't press too hard as you will erase some of the sketch guidelines later. First, you sketch a circle. If you have problems with sketching a circle, I actually have a tutorial on how to do that on my channel, go find it. Then you draw a cross that stands for the point where the brow line crosses the middle line of the face. Break the circle down into four slices and cut off the sides of the circle like this, as the human head is not perfectly round. The slices are fairly thin. You need to start by using the Loomis hat method. If you want to get uh, info details about that, I will put a link in the description for a full Loomis hat method tutorial. But for now, I will just break it down for you step by step. This head sketch will be the scaffolding for the rest of the drawing, so have patience and get every detail right before proceeding. The top points of the chopped areas define where the hairline is, the middle line is where the brows and the bridge of the nose are, and the bottom points of the chopped areas is where the nose sits. Remember that your head is actually round, so uh, the lines are not perfectly straight, they follow the shape of the ball. Then you measure where the chin has to go by using the same distance as between the brow and the nose. And finally you connect the chin to the sides of the circle by drawing the jawline like this. It's important that you give your sketch a masculine jawline by making it relatively wide, as making it too narrow can make your character seem uh, a little bit more feminine. My hubby and I gathered lots of my tutorials into courses on my homepage, so it's actually pretty convenient and comfortable to use. Check my homepage out and see those courses under the free course link. Of course, I'm generalizing now and they are men with soft and small facial features and vice versa. You can do your own experiments and it's also important to say that people look different, so there is no right or wrong way to do this. Maybe we should also give this guy a name. What is your favorite male name? Write your suggestion in the comments. I'm thinking maybe I should call him... Ralph, what do you say? You have now sketched the basic male face, but of course it will come more to life as we start adding male features to the face in this series of tutorials. Let's now define the neck. Again, feminine neck is thinner and longer, and masculine neck is wider, so I'm drawing a fairly wide neck, and not very long. this 
by adding some ears. We need the distance between the brow line and nose, because this is where ears typically sit on the side of the face. As you see, these constructions are universal for every drawing, and adjusting some things, for example, a forehead length or a size of the ears can bring some personality into your drawing, or make it look like your reference if you have any. In the next tutorial, I will draw the male eyes and talk about the differences between male and female eyes, and later we will finish up uh, the face with skin, hair, nose, eyes, uh, and so on. Remember, patience is a virtue when drawing, and you can think about this while you're watching my Instagram tour. So this is the end of the first episode and in the next one we'll learn how to place the eyes on the sketch we just did and how to shade them to make them look realistic. So see you in the next tutorial guys, bye!